Hey guys, today's question was asked by Martin. And he's asking, how do you find the time and commitment to put into poker when you've got other responsibilities? You have to put food on the table for your family. You've got a job that you've got to work. How do you find the time to put into poker to have the results that you really want? So the first thing you've got to do is decide, okay, get realistic and go, okay, I've got this job, I've got these responsibilities. How much time and energy am I going to put into poker? What do I want to achieve from it? And how much am I willing to sacrifice in order to get it? So say you've got lots of responsibilities, not much time, maybe you've only got 20 hours a week to put into poker. Then what you do is you put that 20 hours in, you schedule your time around your work commitments, around your family life, and you put those 20 hours in. Now, you've got to be realistic with your situation. You can't say, okay, I want to be a full-time pro playing 50 hours a week when you have got a family to look after and you've got a job that you're working on the side. So how do you find the time and commitment? First off, get priorities. Decide what you want. What do you want to get out of the game? Then you schedule your time really, really efficiently. So when you've got lots going on and lots to fit in, how the hell do you fit it in? You've got to be really disciplined. You can't be wasting hours. You can't be wasting too much time. And you've got to be making sure every hour counts in terms of whether you're working, playing poker, and making the most of the time you do have. And it's different for everyone. So there's no magic number. It's not like you need to play poker 30 hours a week, 40 hours a week. It's just you've got to make the best of your situation. So. The way I would approach it is decide what you want, get priorities in terms of what goals you want to achieve through your poker journey. Then I would dedicate a schedule to actually put that time in and then it comes down to you actually showing up and putting the time in. Another thing you should do is make sure the people around you are aware of what you're doing. So if they think you're just playing poker as a card game online for fun, they're not going to give you much time and respect to, to play the game. You're probably going to get a lot of uh, hassle and nagging from friends and family who think you're just kind of wasting your time. So if you are playing poker seriously, make sure you let those people around you know that you're doing this for like a side income and actually want to achieve some stuff for the game so that they will give you the t kind of respect and a bit of sort of freedom to put those hours in. But you've got to work around your situation. You can't be too idealistic. You've got to put food on the table with a job. That's priority number one. Poker can be a side project that you're putting as much hours as you can in and committing yourself in the right way. But you've got to be professional about it. Don't just sit there and play a few hours here and there. Really decide how much you want to put into poker and then give poker the, the, the respect it deserves. So hope that was helpful for you, Martin. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comments below. There's going to be plenty more poker videos coming from me soon. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I want to be pumping the content out and hopefully helping you guys be better poker players.